Hey guys, this is Dennis, the founder of Think Here. And I'm David Griffin, your resident comic book and video game guru. And this is our review of Almost Human Episode 3. Are you receiving? So, I, I read online that this episode actually was shot and was supposed to be, I think, the fifth or sixth episode. It of this feels season. like it. It and felt like it. <laughs> there, there isn't really anything that ties it Just, to yeah. anything. Yeah. So, it's kind of a standalone where you could have placed it almost anywhere. Right. It felt a little disjointed. Mm -hmm. um, it was fine, but it was... Like, last week's episode was episodic, mm -hmm. right? And we talked about that. But I was fine with it because it was fun and it was kind of engaging. This was... This didn't really do much. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was just... I, I did, the, the, the plot I wasn't as into. Mm -hmm. I still like the leads, of course, but this one wasn't as strong as the first two episodes. I thought this was the weakest of the three so far. Yeah, I mean, I kind of have mixed feelings about this one because there are things about it that I liked more than last week's okay. episode. Yeah. But then also there's other things I didn't. Like, mm -hmm. you know, last week's episode, I didn't really care for that episodic story, but no. they did tie in some cool stuff about, yeah. like, you know, what is death, you know? Yeah, Especially yeah, in yeah. an right. AI world. And also they tied in uh, uh, John's uh, old partner's family. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I thought that stuff was great. This one didn't have any of that. No. But... It did have some good banter, I, I thought, between Dorian and, and right. John. I think I agree. I think that's the, the strongest point of the series so mm -hmm. far is the is John and Dorian. I think when they're together, that's always interesting. Whether he's telling the story mm -hmm. about falling through the ice or fixing Dorian's, mm -hmm. you know, getting shot with some gum, and I mean, those those parts are the best. The whole thing with this Holy Reclamation group or whatever, they weren't acting to, you know, rob a bank or whatever. They were stealing the heist. All, I, that just didn't get me. I just no, didn't it's a standard in. heist hostage yeah. uh, story right. that you see a lot. Right. So nothing special about that. But I did like seeing some of the technology. They were showing some of the technology yeah, off like in good, terms yeah. of like, hey, this is like a face fixer or changer or whatever. Right. And this is... Uh, you know, uh, what Dorian was able to tap into the the 911 calls right, yeah, and, yeah. and then he imitated John's right, voice. And yeah. So I, I thought those moments were kind of yeah. cool. But yeah, in, in the whole episode storyline wasn't that great. Yeah, I just like, it, it did, that, that, I didn't know that that was supposed to be in episode five. Yeah. It kind of makes sense. Maybe when the Blu-ray comes out over, just to see it in order, if it does the proper order, it would be interesting to see if it would fit better and more mm. context maybe because I just felt like this episode, it did seem very standalone. It just, you know, I mean, we haven't heard about the in syndicate mm -hmm. group since the first one. This his his ex-girlfriend. We haven't had any mention of her, so I hope they don't push it off too long. I hope we start, because this isn't like a full 20 episode season, mm -hmm. I don't think, so I hope they start getting to that story sooner than later. So I yeah, I mean, maybe that. maybe the, the real third episode has that stuff in it, yeah, and they're holding right. off on it. Maybe right. they want to show this one because they felt it was more action-packed. Yeah. Because this one definitely had a lot more action. Sure in it than, than right. the previous stuff. A good so, hostage story is fine every now and then. Yeah, yeah but it, it just, so far we don't know or care. Right. Other than maybe the two main characters we don't really care about. Right, anymore. yeah, exactly. I don't, I mean, I just wanted to see a little bit more with the overall story. I want to meet more of the cast. I want them to be developed a little bit more. But it, it's all, like I said, when John and Dorian are in a scene, it's, mm -hmm. it's fine. It's always enjoyable. But I want them also to interact more with uh, the cops back at you know yeah, headquarters. Right. I mean, he, you know, there was a fin funny scene of of John pretending not to hear and, <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, Maldonado. Uh, but they don't really interact with like Valerie Minka Kelly's character. Yeah, she's always the voice on the receiving. And end. there's like that guy <clears throat> who like that hates them, but he really wasn't in this episode. No, uh, and I like to see Dorian's relationship with other. Uh, uh, the other androids. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of nice to see some of that. Yeah, I hope. I mean, I'm sure we'll get it. It's just, you know, it's the third episode, so I get it takes time. But this one, I think, of the three, was my least favorite. I liked the first one. I really liked the second episode with mm -hmm. the sex bots, but this one, I thought, I don't know. It, it was fine. It's just, it was just, I thought, very average for what mm -hmm. the show can do. But the two leads are great. Yeah, and hopefully they don't drag this out. And yeah. We start yeah. getting into some better, longer more important story. Right, <laughs> yeah. This huge futuristic world. I want to see more of it. Because I, I really, you know, I'm not really interested in what happened in this episode. <laughs> like, right. I don't know what it has any consequence to the overall In the story. long run. I mean, unless that girl that he saved helps him in some way in the future. I, I don't know how that's going to happen. I don't think so. Yeah. I think she was a plot device for just this right. episode. Right, right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Alright, guys. So, that's what we thought of the episode. Are you still watching Almost Human? Are you liking it? Enjoying it? Uh, 
Do you want them to continue with this episodic uh, formula or do you want them to go into bigger storylines? Right. You can uh, post your comments below on the website thinkhero.com or on our YouTube channel Think Hero Pro. Make sure you subscribe that. Hey, you can also come chat with Dennis and I on Twitter. Share your feelings, you know, talk to us about uh, what you're thinking about Almost Human so far, what direction you'd like to see it go in. Uh, we're at Think Hero. I'm at Griffin DE. And we also have a Facebook page that's uh, facebook.com slash Think Hero fans. Make sure you like that page and you can share and tweet out yeah, uh, the word. Yeah, our videos. Yeah. It would help out a lot.